Alright, in this video we're going to show the uh, difference between engraving alder wood um, and engraving cherry wood. Uh, what we're going to be engraving is a photograph on both pieces. They're both exactly the same size, 8 by 10 inch pieces. Um, we're going to use the same settings on both. Um, and we'll see what the results are. We wanna, what we're trying to um, see is which wood is best for engraving. So let's go ahead and focus our material. Lastly, we'll hit go. Sometimes I'll adjust the, um, the power on the fly, which, which means that um, you can adjust it while we're actually engraving the piece. So you can give it up to say like 31%, uh, 32 if you wanted, um, but I think I'll keep it around 31. So now let's go ahead and run our cherry wood, um, same size, same settings, and, and once again we'll do a comparison on this. Okay, so I've put the um, cherry wood in the machine now, and uh, you can kind of see that it is cherry just by looking at it. It has a couple of gum pockets here and there. Uh, that's very typical of cherry. Um, but um, they say it's supposed to engrave darker, so that's why we're doing this comparison to see if there is a difference in the engraving. So let's go ahead and get it focused and start the engraving.
All right, so that's the uh, completed version of the cherry plaque. Looks pretty good. Um, as you can see that the grain on the cherry plaque is uh, heavier than on the alder plaque. It does have more streaking in it. Uh, that is the downside to it. Um, just quickly looking at it, um, it does look like it's slightly darker than the alder plaque. Uh, and it has more of a reddish tint to the engraving. Detail is really good. Alright, so what I'll do is in our um, I'll include a photograph of both plaques side by side for a comparison and we'll let you be the judge.